Everybody, Chris Grandy, planwithchris.com. All right, so something that came up today in conversation with our tax expert on our team, Denise, and it's just something I've kind of noticed and clients keep bringing up, and I think I should put a video on this and also uh, do some follow-up work so that people really figure it out. And that is uh, claiming withholdings uh, and exemptions on your W-4. So we had a bit of a change. You know, with the tax law changes, we got rid of the personal exemption, which I think was... Uh, about four thousand. Was it forty one hundred or four thousand dollars? Forty four thousand fifty dollars per person before the tax law changes, which means you got a deduction for every person in your household of four thousand or so dollars. So, you know, so for yourself, you got one. If you were married, there were two. If you had two kids, that was four. If you had three kids, that was five total. So it was kind of easy to do a W four and estimate your tax withholding because you had your income. They say, well, I've got five exemptions, so I'm going to deduct this much for my income, and here's what should be taxed. It was a lot easier. Now, without that, the actual W-4 form is like a tax estimate. It's like something you go to your CPA and get a full tax estimate. That form is like a, a full sheet. You're, you're like fully estimating your taxes. Here's your expenses, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. And there's been some issues popping up as, a, as an aside. There have been some issues popping up that people don't want their employers to know what their health expenses were for the year, how much interest they pay. So the W-4 can get really in depth with the, um, could get really in depth with the, uh, with, with, with the data you put on there to determine your tax liability. So Denise gave me a couple pointers. Uh, you know, she did say that this changed a couple times this year, but she thinks just to be safe, you know, that maybe that, uh, you know, most systems are estimating that, you know, you're just earning the single income that you earn. They're not estimating a spouse and they're not doing the deductions correctly. So if you say married, et cetera, it might, it might set you up, for example, as just your income with a married level of deductions. And that's not going to come out correct. So you're not going to factor in your spouse's income, et cetera. So really the best thing you can do is work with a tax professional and do sometime maybe mid year, do a actual, do an actual tax forecast. Because that's basically what this um, the W-4 form is. So do a real tax forecast with the CPA who's got the tax software, knows your information, can compare it from last year to this year, and then get that number, and then that's what you should use. It may make you a little bit behind, but you, I guess if you know your income is going to be stable all year, you could do it earlier in the year. But I'd say halfway through the year, if you have any kind of um, variable income, um, and then do a tax estimate, and then you can fill out your W-4 correctly or you, you know, advise your employer about with, uh, correct withholding. It's also good for self, it's good for everybody, self-employed people, anybody, it really makes sense to do a tax projection. We usually do them for our full service client community in September, October, it's just part of what we do. But uh, with these tax law changes, it may make sense. I'm gonna bring this up at all my July meetings, which I'm, I'm going to be going back to do, heading back to Boston in a few days to meet all my clients. And uh, I'm gonna be bringing this, this part up and doing some informal tax projections and then potentially having our tax team do formal tax projections for those who need it. So just FYI, uh, the uh, W-4 is a little bit tricky. You might get a surprise because of the, of the changes. A lot of people got surprises last year when they made those adjustments and people ended up owing at the end of the year, et cetera. So you still may not be correct. So just make sure, I'm advising that it may make sense for you to go to your tax team or your planning team and get a, a full tax uh, forecast done to make sure you're in the right spot. All right, hope this was helpful. I'll leave a link to the IRS W-4 form down below. And if you have any questions, drop, uh, drop us a line and, um, you know, and, and uh, you know, maybe, you know, if we can help if we need to. So thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, found it helpful, please uh, click um, like. And then if you want to subscribe for more ideas like this, more fun information, random stuff and so my channel is basically financial stuff and random stuff which pretty much covers everything if you like that please subscribe and hope you're having a great day thanks a lot so for uh, for coming by